Well, hey guys, welcome to this week's EVTV Amsterdam update. Uh, I am sitting here in a 100% electric Beetle, uh, originally converted by Rebel here in Holland. Uh, this Beetle has been to the shop a couple of times and we've talked about her um, with the old aging GBS batteries, high power batteries, that uh, we're having problems, uh, both uh, BMS related and probably uh, because this early production run on these batteries, this wasn't uh, as consistent as uh, some of the more recent offerings, especially the Kelb CA series and probably now the CAM series cells. So Jeroen Meinders, owner of this uh, Beetle, got on board uh, the Better Place train and purchased one of our Better Place packs and uh, commissioned New Electric to do a upgrade of her battery pack. And that means that we are upgrading from 56 100 amp hour cells for about a 15 point, well, you know, about 16 kilowatt hour pack to this um, 24 kilowatt hour pack with Nissan cells for you know roughly the same weight, a little bit more volume, roughly the same weight. So that's going to be a great increase in range. And uh, this week we had her at the shop. First things first, we needed to take apart the Better Place pack. Well, here goes, folks. Better Place pack, getting ready for beetle action. Let's see uh, what it's like to take one of these apart. So that was a fun little job. Uh, definitely got a good view of uh, that over-engineered tank of a, uh, you know, tank of a box that uh, they put them in. It'll be a little interesting to see how our other folks here in Europe get on with uh, uh, their projects and taking apart their packs, how they're going to repurpose them. We had been playing with the idea of taking apart the banks, the three module banks, and um, paralleling cells to confirm to the original system voltage here in this beetle. System voltage being 56 times 3.2 uh, and the maximum charge voltage being around 195-96 volts. That doesn't seem to be the greatest idea. I mean with the uh, taking apart the cells, making everything larger, we're gonna have a hard time getting it in here. Um, these three module banks of 16 cells uh, are you know really well put together <laughs> so to take them apart is a real pain luckily the um, soliton controller will go up to 350 volts and still go on and be able to regulate the voltage for the warp motor downwards so what we're going to do is we're going to go with 42 out of the 48 modules uh, keep them in series uh, get a new charger installed that'll charge up to 350 volts get the settings on the soliton uh, in accordance and all that really leaves is to update the DC DC converter so that it'll have the right input range uh, and luckily the Xantrax uh, Expert Pro that's here in the uh, dashboard will also go up to 350 volt with the right prescaler so all in all um, we'll be able to upgrade this beetle but first we needed to get the original batteries out well she's back it's the e-beetle and her aging GBS high power pack was coming out and over in the back yonder we have three module banks of better place cells that will be going in. Two in the front, one in the back. Higher voltage but uh, we love that soliton. It can go up to 350 charge voltage and uh, that'll be about 42, 43 modules. Uh, let's see how we do it.
How's it going in there, Ray? Yeah. Is it comfy? Yeah. <laughs> Is that a good spot there? Less and less, uh, less and less uh, little lights. <laughs> yeah. So, it's getting better. Say bye bye, batteries. Bye bye. She's all stripped and uh, ready for installation. It's uh, gonna be a tight one, but she'll fit. We'll have two banks in the front, one bank in the back. Ray is right now getting uh, a, a new metal for new frames as we speak. And uh, so we'll probably have her here at the shop for about another week or so. And I hope next week we'll be uh, test driving the Beetle. Our other customer that I showed last week bringing home three Better Place packs, not really bringing home, bringing to the shipyard three Better Place packs, uh, uh, has also got on with it, and uh, that boat's now actually afloat. I took a little footage when we went over there to show you what project is getting not one, not two, but three Better Place packs installed. Hiding from the rain, Better Place Lithium. Here lies The Tourist, one of Amsterdam's finest saloon boats, formerly with a big diesel in the front and a long shaft all the way out to the back. Now a Masterville electric motor has been installed and um, they are now placing the Better Place battery packs. The packs have been prepared, got some pictures from inside, and uh, pretty soon this boat will have 60 kilowatt hours of Nissan cells driving a 20 kilowatt liquid cooled master volt motor for some fun on the Amsham canals. So there you have the Tourist. Uh, such a lovely boat. It already had an electric uh, uh, system installed uh, a couple of weeks ago um, and we put the actually the battery pack that was in my glass run originally, the uh, Winston yellow uh, bricks, the 90 amp hour bricks. We put that pack in there as placeholder as we were waiting on the uh, often delayed better place packs. Uh, now that they came in, uh, Baden uh, took them apart. He had to go a little further than we did uh, to confirm to the system voltage of around 96 volts. He uh, took apart all the cells and made banks of 13 units and paralleled a few of those uh, uh, with some extra monitoring systems that are his uh, own preference but that way he was able to install 60 kilowatt hours of the Nissan packs in that tourist. It was a lot of work <laughs> I think he kind of discounted uh, uh, how much um, actual you know labor hours went into making the new packs but uh, they're very happy with the result uh, the tourist is out and afloat and she's actually got a very interesting system where um, there is a gen set way in the front where the big diesel engine used to be and that gen set can then also uh, not just deliver you know 220 for the house uh, systems you know it's a, a it's a like you know basically a restaurant on water when the tourists are in and it's going around the canals so it'll have enough power for uh, microwaves cooling that kind of thing but it can also uh, uh, pop up a notch and then power the chargers as she goes meaning that this uh, uh, boat with an already ample pack of 60 kilowatt hours can uh, um, basically be afloat indefinitely at uh, more or less top cruising speed with all the microwaves and uh, refrigeration going and still be a, a very efficient little floater. Very cool boat. I hope to uh, make more inroads with shipyards making boats like these so that we can provide them with cells and in the near future, hopefully also motors and motor setups and uh, get more of Amsterdam on uh, floating the electric way. So that's all for Better Place Packs and Building uh, this week. I had hopefully promised you <laughs> some more action out on the water with the Delta. And uh, I can tell you I was really ready to go out and do it. Only we've had, uh, uh, well I was going to say abysmal, but let's just call it a uh, We've had some Dutch weather here this week. <laughs> it's been rainy all week, and the Delta is a fair weather kind of girl. So, last we weren't able to go out. 
Uh, as a slightly second best option though, I did go back into the original footage of the Delta when I had her in the original prop setup and we took her out on the new Amir. On the new Amir we did some uh, runs, power runs, and we took different measurements of amps and volts and speed from the GPS. Now this is 320 amps, 330 at 137, and that's 45 kilometers an hour. At 137, 330, 47. numbers were kind of all over there because wind for and against and current for and against really plays a heavy role but I for instance was doing uh, 330 amps at 137 volts for 50 45 kilowatts of output power and that was putting me out at about 45 kilometers an hour so 330 amps 137 volts 45 kilowatts for 45 kilometers an hour in the new setup, if we uh, listen to the hastily <laughs> shouted numbers from my last power run, I was, for instance, doing 175 volts at uh, 175 amps at 141 volts. I'll put these numbers up while we're talking uh, for 24 kilowatt hours and 40 kilometers an hour. Not quite the same speed, but we're seeing that if I'm doing 24, 25 kilowatts for 40 kilometer and I was doing about 45 kilowatts for 45 kilometer. Um, <coughs> extrapolating the differences, it's, it's not that easy to do, but um, that 30% efficiency increase was probably even slightly, uh, um, slightly low as a figure. I think we've got a good 30% across the board increase in efficiency uh, with this new motor mount setup which is uh, uh, absolutely amazing and also much more in line with what we figured this boat should be doing for what she weighs and uh, 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 what we want to do. Um, now we are getting those performance figures that make uh, building this Delta uh, really fun. Alas, we need to get some more data out there and uh, the weather has turned for the better. So next week we should have a beetle out on the road and a delta out on the water. More action for EVTV Amsterdam. In the meanwhile, I hope you all keep building. We're definitely building our asses off. <laughs> and I'll see you next week. Take it easy. Take it easy.